Greetings dear friends and welcome to the Blue Cube YouTube channel. Continuing with the animation tutorial using Adobe Animate, in this video, I am going to teach you about the layers section. Alright friends, whenever you create a document, you can see the layers section in the bottom left part of the timeline. Layer 1 is automatically created when you select the document. I will enlarge the timeline a bit so you can see it better. First, we need to understand what layers are and their purpose. Layers are like transparent sheets stacked on top of each other, and in each layer, we can create as many shapes as we want. Any changes made to a particular layer will be applied to all the shapes on that layer. Now, I will demonstrate this so you can understand it better. As we mentioned, when we create a document, layer 1 is automatically created. Here, I select the rectangle and draw several rectangles like this. Now I have created all these shapes in layer 1. If I click on the layer, you can see that all the shapes in layer 1 are selected like this, and with the free transform tool, I can move them around. If I want to deselect the shapes, I click on the document. Now, I click on the new layer option here to create a new layer. I select the new layer and right click in the shapes section, choose the circle, and draw a few circles. I select a circle and change its color, for example, to red. I hold down the Alt key and create several copies. Now, if I select layer 1, the rectangles are selected, and if I select the new layer, the circles are selected. Now, if you select the desired layer from the Properties panel and the Object section, you can change the color of all the shapes in the layer simultaneously. I select purple for the circles. I click here to deselect the circles. So, whichever layer you select, you can change the color of the shapes simultaneously in the properties panel and the object section. One thing to note is that shapes in the higher layer are always displayed in front. If I now select the higher layer that contains the circles and place it over the rectangles, the circles will be on top of the rectangles. But if I select layer 1, which contains the rectangles, and drag it to the top, you can see that now the rectangles are on top of the circles. Ok, I will select this shape and place it here. So you have learned that using this option, we can create as many layers as we want and place different shapes in each layer. Also, to delete any layer, just select the desired layer and click on this icon. Now we can group different layers together. By using this new folder tool, if I click on it, a folder is created. If you double click on the folder, you can name it. I won't change its name. I drag the other layers and place them in this folder. Now the layers are inside the folder. If I close the folder layer and open it again, it's clear that the layers are inside the folder. If I select the folder layer and want to delete it, I can click on the delete icon. When you delete the folder, all the layers inside the folder are also deleted. I press Ctrl and Z to undo and bring the layers back. Here, we can hide the shapes inside the layers and then reveal them again. We can do this for folders as well, or we can do it individually for each layer. Alright, I select this layer, hold down the Ctrl key, select this layer too, and place them above the folder. 
Like this, you can see that two layers have been removed from the folder. Now, friends, so you can see the layers more easily and clearly, I hold down the control key, select three layers, right click here, and in the properties section, I enlarge the layers. I select the folder layer and delete it. Here, there is an option called Highlight Layer. If I click on it, I can differentiate two or any number of layers based on their color. For instance, now a line has been created for the orange layer. If I click here, only the color of this layer will be highlighted individually for me. The next option is Outline. If I enable it, you can only see the lines and outlines of the shape, which helps us see beneath the shapes when the workspace is crowded. Click it again, and the colors will reappear. The next option is Hide, which I can click to hide all the shapes within the layer. I can click again to make them reappear, or I can hide or show them individually. The next option is Lock Layer. If I lock the layers, I can no longer select the layer or shapes on the document. However, we can click it again to unlock it. We can also lock each layer individually. When there are a lot of layers and shapes, this lock feature can be very helpful. The next point is that you can move each of these shapes individually with the Transform tool. However, if you select the circle layer, all the shapes in the layer will move simultaneously. Here, there is an option called View Only Active Layers. If you enable this option, you can only see the active or selected layers. To see all the layers again, you need to disable this option. Next to each layer's name, there is a document icon. If you double-click on it, the Properties panel will open, where you can change the layer properties. First, we can change its name. For instance, I will set the number 12 as the name for this layer. We can lock the layer twice or change the display type of the shapes in this layer. We can also hide the shapes within the layer here. Double click here again to reveal the shapes in the layer. There is an opacity option here, where we can increase or decrease the transparency and visibility of these shapes. For example, I set the opacity to 15 or 20%. This way, the transparency of the shapes in this layer decreases. I reset the settings to default. The next section in this panel is for selecting the layer type. It can be normal, mask, or guide. I will teach mask in future lessons. For instance, if you select guide and click OK, the layer icon changes, and the shapes in this layer will not be visible in the final render. I select the normal option and click OK. Double click here again. In the outline color section, you can change the layer's color. I select green for this layer. Double click on this icon again. As I mentioned earlier, we can activate it to display shapes as outlines. Here you can set the layer size. For now, I have chosen 200% so you can see the layers more easily. You can apply any size you want here. Click the OK button. To copy the shapes in each layer, first select the desired layer and press Ctrl plus C and then Ctrl plus V. This way, a copy of the shapes within the layer is created. I delete these shapes.
To copy a layer, right-click on the desired layer and select Duplicate. This way, a copy of the layer is created. Now the new layer is placed here. I delete the new layer. I right-click on this layer and, for instance, we can also lock the layer from here, or we can hide it. Additionally, there are options for transparency, delete, copy, and paste here, which we can also use to copy the layer. I press Ctrl plus Z again to revert to the previous state. There are other options here that I will explain to you in future lessons. The last important thing to know now is to select a layer, hold down the Ctrl key, and select another layer. Now right click and select Merge Layers to combine the layers. Now I can move all the shapes in the merged layer like this. Alright friends, these were all the important topics you needed to know about layers. Make sure to practice all these points to fully master this tool. I would appreciate it if you like the video. Until the next video, goodbye for now.